Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back at a special undisclosed location with a bunch of palm trees because guess what? We have something big, we have something special, we have something definitely powerful. This is the all new 2021 Mercedes AMG GLS 63. But before we dive into this big, bad German SUV, let's talk about what it represents to Mercedes. So anytime you hear those letters AMG, you know you're gonna get the utmost in performance. And this GLS 63 is definitely bringing in a, a high horsepower punch. Now, what is this gonna compete with? You're looking at the Bentley Bentayga, the BMW X7, maybe even throw in for fun, the Audi RS Q8. One thing is for certain, this three row large and in charge SUV is being touted as the most powerful performance oriented full size three row luxury SUV on the planet. And Mercedes says that they are ready to rock and roll with four Matic all wheel drive, twin turbo V8 power, and an interior that's gonna blow you away. So let's go ahead, dive into this GLS 63, all new for 2021 and see, is it the ultimate? Is it the king of those luxury performance SUVs? Right off the bat, love the aggressive look. When they brought this to me and it rolled up into my driveway, I was like, whoa. And exactly, it starts off right at the headlight housing here. You have full LED headlights, daytime running lamps and turn signals, a little bit of blacked out area, a little bit of silver, balances it perfectly as if you were ice skating on a thin piece of ice. Now, as you drop down, we have massive air intakes. These are functional, a little bit not functional, but you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna zonk it because you can see how much functionality, how much aggressive look there is. The weight extends off of the front fascia, especially as you get towards the lower lip area. Um, that's gonna give you downforce and ram air into those massive coolers. Now, as we come across the grill, they did a great job taking a large grill and making it look sexy. And you know what I'm talking about. Look at a BMW. The grills are getting bigger, bigger, but they're not getting sexier. This thing is big and it's sexy. Vertical, nice chrome slots here. You have your AMG badge, that Mercedes-Benz logo. Super aggressive, and I like the way it's got a nice convex shape to it. Really gives it a lot of character. You're gonna have a forward-facing camera. You drop down, you can see how far this extends, and then you're gonna have full functionality. I guess the half zonk that I would give is just make this design smooth. Instead of putting the actual, this fake grill design to it, just keep it smooth. I think it would have just been a little bit cleaner look, but definitely the way that this lower lip extends out, gonna give you downforce. And I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, three row SUV, you're talking about downforce. This thing could take a C7 Corvette Stingray zero to 60. So you know what I'm talking about. It does have uh, suspension that you could raise and lower. If you want more ground clearance, you could get it with this GLS 63. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I love the way it just kind of curves around and waterfalls right into the upper grill. You have that Mercedes-Benz logo and two simple rises that kind of fade away as you get towards the windscreen. And then of course, you're gonna have your higher edge on each side that goes towards the A-pillar. Now, as we come around the bend, get ready. I hope you're sitting far back from your screen because these are so massive. That's a 23 inch forged AMG wheel. Are they ridiculous or what? I mean, that's a UFO size wheel. You do get permits from AMG to allow you to drive this on the street. They're wrapped in Pilot Sport 4S tires. So that shows the performance intention of this GLS 63, even though it is a three row SUV. Now, if you're wondering, well, 23 inch, what's the size? You're looking at on this upfront 285, 40 series on the sidewall. Look at that caliper there. That's the size of Thor's hammer. It's gonna clamp down on that over 15 inch rotor, cross drilled, slotted, and fully ventilated. Yes, on an SUV, you could have that kind of performance, but I'm telling you right now, that thing looks like the Brooklyn Bridge behind the wheel. You're gonna have adaptive suspension. Remember, you got different drive modes, a dynamic setting. You can make the suspension stiff, make it comfy, and like I said, you could ra raise it up a 23 inch wheel that's an optional wheel. Love the way they painted the fender flare. Nice, aggressive look. Of course, you got your V8 bi-turbo. Formatic means all-wheel drive. So nice to have that performance. Nice to have that stick. And you have Michelin Pilot Sport, the 4S tires, the Pilot Sport 4S tires. Gloss black on the mirror caps. 
A little bit of a running board, to be honest with you. I don't even think it's needed. It's not very large, and it just makes the side a little cumbersome, so I am gonna zonk that, but other than that, really aggressive from the side. Nice roof rails. Think about this. I'm six feet tall. You put your kayak up there, I promise you, you're gonna get to the water so quick in this, faster than anybody else. You'll be in your kayak and already gone by the time everybody else shows up. Gloss black around the top and bottom. Nice high belt line, a little bit of chrome on the door handles. And then I wanna focus on the rear because if you thought 285 up front was, was wide, check this out. Out back, 325s. 325s. That's wider than my Shelby GT350R tires. That's what you're getting on this AMG product. Still cross-drilled, fully ventilated and slotted. Not as big as up front, but still pretty darn big and it's gonna give you nice braking capability. As we work around to the rear, I'm gonna have kind of Crown Vic show you that nice flared fender look. Love the way they round off the rear uh, back end of the vehicle. You're gonna have a short little stubby roof spoiler, all color match. I wish that they would have hid this underneath here just to clean it up, but GLS 63, your chrome badge, of course, AMG, full LED brake lights, turn singles, the whole shabam. And then as we drop down, you're gonna get those beautiful blacked out AMG decorative exhaust trim, functional exhaust behind it. They are not fake. What is fake though is this vent area, which I am gonna zonk, but look at the diffuser. That thing is just massive and functional, which is great to see. And you're gonna hear one hell of a roar out of this exhaust. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this GLS 63. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. Now, many would say that there's no replacement for displacement. Uh, Mercedes AMG would want to argue with that. Feast your eyes. That's four liters of bi-turbo pleasure. So you're looking at a hand-assembled. If you notice, you'll see the nameplate here. Daniel was the gentleman to assemble this engine over at the AMG facility. You're looking at that four liter bi-turbo, 603 horsepower, 627 pound-feet of torque. It's all made it to a nine-speed automatic transmission. You do have that EQ boost that gives it that partial hybrid capability. And like I said, you're gonna smoke a Stingray zero to 60, because this thing does zero to 60, 3.6 seconds, quarter mile, 12 fat flat at 115 miles an hour, top speed, 174 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs 5,927 pounds, MPGs, 14 in the city, 20 on the highway. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of boost are we getting out of this thing? 18.9 pounds of boost. Really nice to see the carbon fiber, AMG, the Mercedes logo, more carbon fiber up front as well. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to that special moment because I'm telling you, it's gonna make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire up this AMG GLS 63. All right, guys, we are inside this bad mamma jamma. This is a 2021 AMG GLS 63. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I still haven't picked my jaw off the floor. It's got power, it's got performance. How much is it? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, you're looking at around $149,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love all the beautiful styling, the artwork, that carbon fiber, the nice aluminum covers. You have 65 different ambient colors to choose from that lights up that whole door panel. Heated seats, ventilated seats, three-way memory seat settings on passenger and driver. I'm liking the two-tone motif, that dark, almost like a milk chocolate brown, and the rest of the color just pops it very nicely. You have a super large speaker in the bottom portion of the door and a nice large pocket that you could put easily, some chocolate milk, and a six pack of Dunkin' Donuts. As we get to the dash, the contrast stitching, beautiful, that carbon fiber design, the ambient lighting. I don't know if, if Crown Vic can pick it up, but we got a purple right now, sort of like a pinkish, runs across the bottom. The stitch work is just exquisite. Get ready, because you're gonna have over 12 inches 
a visual pleasure smacked right in your face. This is a 12 inch infotainment system screen, 12.3 inches. You can see we got our navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's a touch screen, which is wonderful. You got your wonderful swipe features here. You got your track pace. When you're going to a track, it'll record everything. AMG performance settings. One of my favorite things I like to show off is the engine data. So as I get on throttle here, you can see how that changes. Obviously, when we do the drive, it'll really show a lot of information, but really easy to navigate through if you want to do touchscreen. We drop down more of this carbon fiber. I love the style of the AC vents. You got your start stop button, all the AC controls, of course, dual climate. Look at the stitch work. Little bit of gloss black, but watch this. You open up this door, bam, wireless charging, USB C's, two of them, two refrigerated cup holders so you can put a drink, a nice, uh, say, bottle of milk, and then a nice Twinkie in the other one and keep them cool. Let's see our key fob. There's our new AMG key fob, very sexy, very tasteful. It's not gonna hurt you in your uh, family jewels if it goes in your pocket, which is nice. We could close this up. And then you have a trackpad. So if you don't wanna touch the screen, you could operate everything on the screen right here. You also have your different switches and knobs, which is, makes life really easy to go through. Palm rest, more controls. This is where you could raise, we could open up the exhaust, adjust the suspension, everything. It's interesting where Mercedes-Benz gives you about 200 ways to adjust the different functions. You got an oh crap handle for both the driver and the passenger. And then actually soft on the armrest, open up the Bombay doors, felt lining. So you could put some family silver spoons in here. They're not gonna get scratched. You got a USB. I would fill it up with Twinkies. You could easily get about 12 Twinkies in there. Close it up, seats. I know I use this word sexy, we're back again. Sexy's back, look at this. Love all the Alcantara, the AMG logo, the brown looks so great. I mean, it looks like a seat out of uh, the Millennium Falcon. It looks like something from Star Wars in a good way. Fully electric adjustable. And then of course you're gonna have this massive panoramic sunroof. They actually use more glass on this panoramic sunroof than they did in the Empire State Building. That's fact, Google it. Look at that, all the way back. I got plenty of headroom. Coming over the business end because we got a Alcantara wrapped Formula One style steering wheel I wanna showcase for you. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. There's your little baby running boards. We got AMG logo that lights up at night. Very nice touch. And then you have your brushed aluminum brake pedal and throttle. My only question is where's my brushed aluminum dead pedal? Now they give you the carpet here, which is nice, the floor mat, but I want a nice brushed aluminum piece. I know I'm being, being, being spoiled here, but just want a little bit more. Nice bolstering, feels good up top. Feast your eyes on this little piece of magic. So you could be Lewis Hamilton every single day, Formula One driver for the Mercedes-Benz factory team, flat bottom, AMG logo, look at this. Look how you could just control all the different settings so easily by this turn of a knob. Open the exhaust, close the exhaust, traction control, love the silver, look at this. Leather on the uh, horn button, a blacked out Mercedes-Benz uh, star. And then you have these massive paddles to go up and down, that nine speed automatic transmission. And just when you thought one 12.3 inch screen wasn't enough, you have two. Full TFT display, looks like a video game. And that is a compliment. So really, really loving what they're doing with the technology in this AMG. But while we go ahead, let's check out the mid row and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this experience where you're smoking Mustang GTs and Corvettes off the line. All right guys, mid row time in this AMG GLS 63. Plenty of headroom. Alcantara along the whole headline. Look at the speakers. There's about 400 speakers in this vehicle. Fact check that on Google. It's gonna give you the purest of sound. You're gonna feel like your favorite singer is sitting on your lap singing to you in your ear. That's what it's gonna sound like in this GLS 63. I love the way they put AC vents up top. Backs of the seats, I'm not digging the, the cargo net. I wish they wouldn't do the cargo net, but what they did do great is you have your rear AC with AC controls. Watch this. Boom, it's a little slow, I'll help it along. You got a cubby for some uh, M&Ms, you can fill it up in M&Ms and you got a power source and two USBs, USB-Cs, excuse me. Also a refrigerated cup holder for one person back here. I'm calling shotgun, I'm calling dibs on that. And then the seats, 
I mean, they're comfortable as could be. And guess what? Heated and ventilated, just like up front, heated and ventilated, heated and ventilated, real easy to control. I mean, you can slide it forward and backwards. You could tilt the uh, back of the seat all the way back and then watch this. Boom, look at what we have here. So you have a nice little screen that you could adjust all sorts of things, which is great. You push the button, watch this. It's going to eventually pop up. Device, well, there, look at this. Ooh, look what I have. I have my own little iPad back here, a little mini iPad. Really nice, all the different features. That's pretty amazing. This is technology. This is living large and in charge. You're gonna go ahead and put that back in, plugs in. Little cubby here for some, uh, maybe some Slim Jims or Twizzlers. Wireless charging for your backseat passenger. And then we open this up and they have another container. Put some pistachios in there. Just not the red ones because you're gonna get it all over your fingers. Close that up. Look, look at the lighting. Do you see that? Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? The ambient lighting, 65 different colors. It's like going to Baskin Robbins twice because they only have like 37 flavors or whatever it is. 30, yeah, I think it's 37, so maybe 31, 37, 31 flavors. Like the seats, same as up front, really great material. But why don't we go ahead? We talked about how great the mid row is. What about that third row? How are your passengers going to feel as you are apexing down the dragon in North Carolina? Let's go check it out. All right, guys, third row time, six foot tall Joe Rady. You push the button, it's all electric assist. You just push it once, good to go. Look at this. It's like a, a seat from uh, the haunted house at, at Walt Disney World. It's moving by itself. But it gives you a pretty good amount of room. I'm going to go ahead and uh, climb on in. Let me put up the headrest real quick. But as you can see, I mean, it, it's, it's not too bad. My knees are low. This row needs to go forward. This row needs to be moved forward. Uh, you do have two USB-Cs, which is great. And I also can tilt the seat back here, which is nice with these little controls. You got a cup holder on each side. But what's crazy is my head is not hitting the roof. I thought for sure my head was going to hit the roof. I'm just saying, I know that you see where the back of the seat is. Just be aware that that's pushed all the way back. There is plenty of room. Slip them a 50, they'll move the seat forward, I promise. I know I'll move it forward, but why don't we check out the cargo area and see what kind of room we have in this GLS 63. All right, guys, obviously this GLS 63 hauls the mail. Let's see how much mail we could put in the back. So you're just gonna hit this button right underneath the Mercedes logo, goes up very quickly. Actually, a lot of great space, even with the third row up. So you're looking at over 17 cubic feet of space with the seat up. I'm gonna swing around and kind of showcase some of the buttons and whatnot. You have a 12 volt back here, which is a nice touch. Going camping, going to a tailgate party, or you're at the beach. And then what we're gonna do is to get this third row down, you actually have three buttons. You have, you could raise and lower the vehicle, back of the vehicle, or we're gonna lower the seat. So you're gonna push on the two buttons, and it takes a few seconds and then there they go, folding all the way down, nice and flat. I really like the way it's super flat. And then of course that third row will fold down and you'll have a massive amount of room in the back of this GLS 63. But why don't we get to the best part? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go haul the mail in this AMG SUV. All right guys, we're in the 2021 Mercedes AMG GLS 63. This thing is a bad mamma jamma. The steering wheel right out of Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes Formula One car, but yet you could fit the whole Mercedes Formula One team in here. The whole race team could sit in here. That's what's so versatile about this luxury SUV. And if you want the most powerful, the baddest of the bunch, when it comes to three row luxury SUV, there's nobody touching this AMG GLS 63. Now, interior, everywhere you touch, you look, you smell, you glance at, of course has that high level of fit and finish as to be expected at this price point. The dash is just unbelievable, super clear. It. it even though it's an iPad style, the way they integrate it, really clean. I mean, this thing checks off every single box imaginable, especially for up front. The seats are supportive. 
yet they're gonna hold you when you go through the twisty bits. And yes, this thing is very capable through the twisty bits. We made it to some twisty bits. I wanna showcase that zero to 60 that could actually beat a C7 Stingray Corvette off the line. I, of course, have it in Sport Plus mode. Even in that mode, it still drives very, very smooth. Steering has a great feel, but if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle! Yeah! Oh my God. Wow! On the brakes. Look at this. The all-wheel drive, that formatic all-wheel drive. Hear the pops coming from the exhaust. Look at this. The, the traction, the grip it has. Look at this, oh my God. Those massive calipers. thing is on another level the grip the feedback the balance even though you have so much weight sitting up at Mount Everest level it still dances so well Mercedes really shows and showcases that whole arm of the AMG wizards because that's all they are they they're not engineers they're wizards because there is some crazy magic that's happening when you get to drive one of these GLS 63s. And I'm just so glad to be able to share with you. The acceleration is mind blowing. It'll detach your retina. You're not even like thinking about it. Your retina is already detached from your the rest of your eye. The seats hold you in and going through the twisty bits, the, the weight transfer, the suspension feel, you feel invincible and you can have your whole family with you. I mean, that's just unbelievable what the capabilities car. And the best news is I wasn't even using the paddles. That was all the nine speed automatic. It shifts so smoothly and really downshifts right at the perfect moment. There's really no need to use the paddles. That's how well engineered the transmission is and all of the electronics that go with it. And then at the end of the day, you have Thor's hammers slowing you down. So you know you're gonna come to a stop on a dime and give everybody on the whole block change. But why don't we do another on throttle? A little bit of, little bit of throttle, on throttle, here we go! Yeah! <laughs> wow, look at this. On the brakes. Decreasing radius. The grip, I mean. On the brakes. You hit a downshift. Perfect, I'm telling you, they got the sound, just the right amount of sound in this cabin. You're hearing some pops. The downshifts are so sweet, so perfectly planned out as if you were Lewis Hamilton driving this GLS 63. Just the technology today is so mind blowing and to think that you are gonna take a Corvette zero to 60, boy are we living in a crazy day and age when it comes to performance. All right guys, one last time through the twisty bits just for all of you, I love all your support, you guys are so awesome. Here we go, on throttle. Amazing, it really is. I 
I just had the honor of taking you for a spin in the world's fastest, most powerful luxury three row SUV. I hope that this gave you a great overview of just how capable this vehicle is, but also how docile it is. You could drive it every single day, obviously, take the kids to school, and then, hey, you got a favorite twisty road, go tear it up. But we're gonna get back to our undisclosed location, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a time with this 2021 AMG GLS 63. I definitely gotta thank Baron and the rest of the crew over at Mercedes-Benz USA for allowing Radies Rise access to this powerful, the world's most powerful luxury, full-size luxury SUV. I just don't know where else you could take this size of vehicle. It seems AMG has knocked it out of the park, not only doing the performance, but the style and all the amenities into the interior. It's definitely really living up to that AMG name. But if it's vehicles like these that you want to keep seeing on Raise Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Crown Vic. He loves his BMWs, but boy, oh boy, this Mercedes AMG product put a big, huge smile on his face. So thank you, Crown Vic, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.